All right, y'all, it's about 6.30. We are packed and loaded. I'm filling the truck up right now, and we getting ready to get up out of here. We're on our way to Tampa, Florida. If you guys didn't know, my wife and I just recently bought a townhome in the Tampa, Florida area, so we are relocating down there, uh, and I'm gonna vlog the trip, so I hope you guys enjoy. It's my last time rolling up to the shop. it is to fill this freaking car up yeah man moving is not cheap moving is not cheap you have to be prepared and uh but you know the best part about it is <laughs> on the dot on the dot i cannot believe we dragged this whole thing a thousand miles across the country my baby on the back. Look at her. Golly. Yo, first of all, I want to say you are a great friend for taking this 20 hour ride with me. We've been in a car for like 20 hours. So thank you for doing this. We are officially at the crib, so I'm about to get out. Oh my God, I gotta stretch. I gotta stretch. There's my dog. This is our new house. Junior, what do you think? Goodbye. Goodbye? Where are you going? Upstairs. You going upstairs to your room? Go go claim your room now. First one to claim the room gets it. I already know which one's there. That's so big. They don't have a home. Jess, what you think? The bingo? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Plus the desk right here with the plugs for content creation. It's all going down right in here. This is gonna be the lab. Wow, I've never seen a baby palm tree before. That's crazy. Good boy. Good boy, let him know. That's my territory. You guys can't see right now, but through those trees is the lake. We'll call it a lake. It might not really be on the I guess it's a lake. I don't know. Just a hole with water in it. So today is my first full day 
as a Floridian and man, I can tell you, I feel so completely grateful. Um, I'll take Amanda for a walk before we go to bed. Um, get out the street, come on. Uh, and I feel so grateful to be like just in this position. Hard work, I think really is worth so much more than like how nice you are or stuff like that. Like, are you are you gonna work hard and are you, do you really want it? You know what I'm saying? And um, I think my wife and I, like as a unit and individually, like prove that, that we want it. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful to God that like we even got this opportunity. I'm grateful that, you know, I got such a awesome wife who's out here getting promotion after promotion and all this stuff. Like, you know, the Bible says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. So I think that has absolutely happened to me. Like, as you know, me and my family, like we just we receive favor from the Lord. So I'm excited, man. And, and I hope Mando doesn't poop again because I used my last bag. So <laughs> um, this is really nice neighborhood. It's super quiet. Um, I've seen a lot of people walking their dogs seen a lot of older people i seen kids outside on bikes when the last time especially in 2022 you seen a kid outside on a bike three of them kids rode by and i gave them uh my number and my instagram already i'm not playing i'm trying to get clients early if i start in in two weeks i need to have clients ready you know what i'm saying i need to have people ready like the, the grind is is so serious when it comes to building clientele um i'm not really super fancy with it i'm gonna make a video about building clientele because this that's definitely gonna be the journey that i'm gonna be on for the next couple months but when it comes to building clientele i'm very simple like i pass out cards i put my number in people's phone if i can just give them the card that's cool but if i can put my number in somebody's phone now like I'm, all, I'm already in there, you know what I'm saying? The building clientele journey is gonna be very interesting. My goal is to be booked within six months. Six months, I wanna be booked, cutting like full schedule every day. And then from there, I'd like to, you know, be booked out a couple days in advance and then a week in advance and then two weeks in advance and such. But within six months, I need to be cutting all day long you know what i'm saying full schedule throughout the day even if it takes all day to get that full schedule then i, I need to have that i'm gonna have this whole neighborhood on lock all the kids in this neighborhood is getting the blurry phase they all gonna be on the youtube channel watch watch mark my words come back to this video don't don't go in the street stop it stop it stop it come back to this video mark my words we emptied the whole thing today. Now nothing's in there but trash. My baby been sitting there the whole time. Let me let me explain something to you. This car, right, is held down right now by the straps around this wheel. When we first got this U-Haul and we got the hitch to put the car in the back, right? The person who works at U-Haul did not put the straps on like this over top of the wheel and around the back. They put them on the front. So every as every time when I rolled off, every time I hit a bump, the straps would just fall right off. Now it's like, okay, what's holding my car on? This is what's holding my car on. This chain right here is the only thing holding my car on to this hitch. So the morning we leave, I go back to the U-Haul and say, yo, the straps keep falling off. I need you to fix them because I'm not driving a thousand miles with no straps on my car, right? So they fix them and they put them on right. They lock my baby down good. She hung the, she hung the whole way there. The whole way there. Let's go. So then we get back to the, we get, we finally get to the house and guess what? The chain that's supposed to be on the back of the car holding the holding the frame in the back of the car that comes disconnected so if i never would have went to the u-haul place the morning of and told them to fix the straps you know what would have been holding my car on to the itch faith the size of a mustard seed but anyway we're good though so tomorrow we are going to dump 
all the trash in this U-Haul and then we're gonna send everything back. watching this vlog if you enjoyed it leave a thumbs up and a comment also hit that bell so you can get notified anytime i drop new videos on the channel i start at the barbershop on january 31st so we'll have new haircut tutorials coming then um in the meantime i'm gonna try to drop maybe like one or two before then so stay tuned all right peace